Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another uh, edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Is it Thursday already? Oh boy, I'm I'm beaten. Um, <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh, you know, for, for those who don't know, I I'm literally speaking for seven hours a day uh, in the live webinar, and by the time like Thursday comes along, it, it's hard for me to even like formulate um, an intelligent sentence, let alone everything else. But again, it's part of life. What, what can you do? You have to do what you got to do. So uh, let's talk about the tape. So. Last night, you go back to last night, um, the scoreboard was lighting up. You had Tesla up 100, Amazon up 1,000, uh, Facebook up 12%. Uh, everything was going out nuts. And by the time the pre-market came along, uh, when you woke up this morning, you turn around and say, well, you know, my first thought before I even, even turned on uh, the quotes, I said to myself, well, we, we should, you know, the, the NASDAQ future's got to be up at least 100, 150 points. And you look down and they were flat and then they started going lower. And again, it really, it really does show you how what you think is going to happen is completely, you know, completely the opposite of what you're actually seeing in front of you. And today was a, a pretty aggressive reversal day. And the highlight of today's day was obviously what was Tesla going to do after this big, big run up uh, that it had? What was Amazon going to do after the close? What was Apple going to do after the close? And again, keep this in mind. It's the same question that we had on Netflix's earnings. You know, again, nobody, you know, nobody in their right mind would turn around and say, well, Apple's not going to beat. Nobody's going to turn around and say, well, Amazon is going to beat. We all knew they were going to beat, right? They all know. The question is the same thing with Netflix. Was the stock price baked in? Or again, continuing with the theme, was the market going to price in already the move or is the market going to give them another mulligan, just like we've been seeing uh, over and over and over again. And we kind of got that uh, pretty quickly. And if you look at the stocks that were making, you know, really big surges last night, uh, pretty decent, you know, pretty decent moves off the highs. You know, last night when I was recording the video, Microsoft was at 86. You can see really, really big move. Uh, off the low, off the highs. You had Facebook last night was just you know two fifteen, uh, went down to the two hundred ones. Uh, Tesla, which was uh, definitely the biggest reversal. We'll talk about the individual pivots. There were two pivots on Tesla that were just outrageous, uh, both to the downside. Obviously, again last night uh, Tesla was at you know eight eighty six, and by the time you look down, I mean it was just, this is one hell of a reversal. Uh, and the question was again, what was going to happen with Amazon? So Amazon. Uh, had this really, really aggressive candle into the close. Okay, really aggressive candle. Oops, sorry, wrong one, sorry. Um, so Amazon had this really aggressive candle the last like five minutes of the day. You can see this huge surge, like really, really aggressive surge, 40, 50 point move. Uh, and then the earnings came out. And again, it, it's not what they said in the earnings. I, I think it's kind of irrelevant of what they said in the earnings. Again, the question was, is it is baked in again? Is the bear crowd finally going to get a little bit of a crumb to have a little bit of, a, of downward times, so a little bit of a back testing? And, you know, again, very, very quickly, uh, Amazon reversed courses and the stock started moving lower. And again, before you turn around and say the stock is getting killed, God, look, look at the run Amazon has had. OK, does this 100 point move, 150 point move? Does it really matter? It's very, very hard to get excited unless you literally shorted Amazon into earnings. OK, it's very, very hard. Uh, for a bear to turn around and say, see, the bulls never learn. It's a bear market. Unemployed. Okay, who cares, right? So again, you can't get very, very excited about it unless Amazon comes in tomorrow, you know, 400 points and goes all the way down to 2182. You know, again, very, very hard for the bull, you know, for the bears to, to throw a parade. Same thing kind of in Apple um, after the close. I mean, this, how sick is Apple, man? I mean, how insane. They, they, they beat their revenues by $4 billion announced a $50 billion buyback, okay? And they crushed it during COVID-19, okay? They made ridiculous money uh, on their apps and their iTunes store, right? Their whole, you know, so they crushed it, man. And again, the question is not 
were they going to beat their numbers? Of course they did. They, you know, I think I think they beat by twenty seven to twenty nine cents. So they crushed it. The only question was, was it baked in, right? And when you have a move coming from uh, the COVID bottom of two twelve, and you're running to three hundred dollars a share again. If you're a bear, right, again, is this really a victory, right? Is this really a victory? The stock has rallied, you know, stock has rallied 90 points, you know, in, in three weeks. Is this really a victory being down five, six bucks? Again, you decide. But, but again, I, I think the more important part of what is actually happening after hours is kind of, kind of what happens next. And again, it's very easy for me to turn around and say tomorrow, well, this is obviously a reversal. We're going to start testing the bottom. You know, again, the bears are right, right? Look, everybody got to relax. Uh, again, like I say every single day, trade by trade, day by day. Again, nothing makes sense. Remember, nothing makes sense. Nothing's going to make sense. Because again, give you a perfect example, right? We were watching BYND. We had two pivots on BYND today. Excuse me, one pivot on BYND, and then I lost, excuse me, there was three trades on BYND today. There was one to the short side, went down a dollar, right? I'll talk to you on in a second. This uh, 97 and a quarter, 97 went down to 96. There was a remount, okay? There was a remount buy that I caught it for like a dollar and change. And then I lost like a dollar and change on, on the second remount. I just kind of jumped the gun. That wasn't the point. The point was we started seeing, and this is kind of goes into the, into the realm of nothing makes sense, right? So we start seeing buyers coming in on BYND when the stock was like 10 excuse me like 97 98 bucks we started seeing one after another after another coming in for the 110s the 120s the 130 calls now okay, again keep this in mind this wasn't 110 120 130s for June for August for September these were call buyers coming in for tomorrow okay over and over rapid fire mode and I said, wow, this BYND is going to go, it's 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 going to go, went, went, to, went to the toilet. So unless somebody knows something, again, did it make sense that somebody's putting out all these outrageous bets for tomorrow? Did it make sense that the market didn't embrace those bets and took the stock red, right? Again, it doesn't need to make sense, guys. So going into tomorrow's session, again, you know, can I give the bears the benefit of the doubt, at least the sell side bias the benefit of the doubt? You know, look, I, I definitely like some plays uh, for tomorrow on the sell side. Again, if you look at Zoom today, uh, they, well, yeah, well, maybe we don't have 300 million subscribers. Maybe we have 300 million users. Again, it's a big difference, right? Like I'm a subscriber of Zoom, right? I'm a subscriber of Zoom. I pay $260 a month for Zoom, okay? The people who are attending the Zoom webinar, okay, are people who are not physically paying Zoom. So there was a lot of kind of lost in translation in Zoom, but again, the market doesn't care. It's shoot first, ask questions later. When you look at a shop, for example, that failed to break out today, and we talked about this range yesterday, with this Amazon earnings, if Amazon starts coming in tomorrow and Amazon and shop starts, you know, starts losing several of these channels, can shop be a very good sympathy play with short with Amazon? Absolutely. Why not? Right? Absolutely. Why not? Can Tesla, again, continue to go you know, lower, confirming the five-day moving average for, t for tomorrow after this huge run? Absolutely. But everything is still on the table. So again, going into tomorrow's session, again, I'm open-minded. Again, day by day, you know, trade by trade, channel by channel. We, we don't need to show everybody how smart we are. Right? We don't need to show everybody smart. This is not a game of geniuses, man. This is a game of, again, collecting data and putting that data to work in your specific process. So going into tomorrow, okay, you know, I'll, I'll give the sellers the benefit of the doubt tomorrow. You know, maybe I'm 60, 40 sell bias tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I do like some plays to the upside. I, I really like the way Netflix woke up today. And you kind of saw it coming pre-market. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but I think, again, tomorrow there will be some good plays. I think the stocks that did have big runs have an opportunity uh, to pull back more. Um, I think if Amazon starts losing a very, very specific channel, and if you guys, are, uh, if you guys uh, want, I accidentally tweeted uh, the pivot. If you go on my regular Twitter feed, I accidentally tweeted tweeted the pivot on the regular feed instead of the private feed. The same thing with, with Apple. Amazon, uh, Apple just came in $3. Uh, so I apologize before you guys take a look what the pivot is on, on Amazon for tomorrow uh, off my regular feed and you'll see exactly where that confirmation is. So again, tomorrow, you know, I'm going to go in 60, 40 sell side. Uh, tomorrow is May 1st. I hate starting 
a new month on a Friday. But again, again, we can't control the calendar. We can't control uh, price action. We could only control what we're doing based on uh, information. So let's talk about the day today. Um, you know, pretty good, pretty good. It could have been great. Uh, pretty good indeed. So here is uh, here is what we started talking about. So uh, the first uh, pivot of the day, uh, BYND, uh, 9720, 97, if it builds below, can flush. We knew it was going to only get down to 96 first, and there, there was a reason why. It was a linear regression line on the daily chart, and that's exactly where it stopped. So it took out that 97, 20, 97, you know, went down about a buck. And again, really, really big reversal on those option sweeps. Uh, Zoom, you know, I, I had a little bit of a fight with Zoom today. Um, I, shorted for, I shorted Zoom the first time around. And I saw there was a reload buyer, so I covered I covered half with a cup of coffee profit, and then I covered half, and I lost about eighty, about ninety cents, about ninety cents in it. And then later, when it confirmed back down, when it confirmed back down on the second entry, uh, I made it all back. Um, excuse me, excuse me, I made most of it back on this uh, on this move. Uh, but it was fine. There was nothing wrong. Uh, Gilead never got to the eighty six level. Uh, Roku one sixteen fifty uh, needs to build. Um, I didn't trade Roku today. I totally forgot about Roku. 116.50, never got down there, right? 16.65 was yesterday's low. Never got down there. Uh, what the hell is, what the hell is today? I buy, again, um, what was it called? Uh, BYND, I traded a couple of times today. Uh, one was good. One was, you know, crappy. I kind of canceled each other out. Um, Baba never got up there. Um, Netflix, again, this was a big pivot on Netflix. 416 needs to build. Uh, Netflix exploded, really, really exploded here. Uh, here is the 416 channel right over here. This whole channel was 416. Uh, I said, you know, there's a shot it gets to 420. Uh, it, you know, it exploded. It, it stopped at 420, and then another, can another candle came and went right to uh, 424 and a half. So big, big move on Netflix. Um, Microsoft never got down to the 176 area. Uh, take on the way up. Yeah, 420 supply instead of sell right there. So nice move on Netflix. Um, Chipotle never got to the 900 area. Shop again. This is why I kind of like it on the sell side for tomorrow if it confirms. Uh, it failed again third days in a row to get out of this 651, 652 base. So I kind of want to watch it to the downside tomorrow. And this is where uh, obviously the two, two biggest uh, pivots of the day came. Um, so 840, if it builds below, can flush. Again, experienced traders only. Again, when you're trading Tesla, uh, number one, you really need to be an experienced trader. If you're trading Tesla via earnings, earnings day, you know, it's a whole different animal. Uh, but this was big. The first move here was like 25 bucks. Um, so here was Tesla, right? Here was the 840 pivot, right? Everybody see this right here, guys, right? The 840 pivot. I thought it was going to get down to like, you know, seven, 825, okay? It actually overshot it. Uh, and not only did it, did it overshoot the 825, it went all the way down to seven. It went all the way down to 811. Okay, all the way down to the 811 here. So big, big move down. And then there was, and then it started going red, right? And it put its initial move down to 798. And this is basically the second move here was just ridiculous. And again, here is the, and here is not to kind of jump all around, but this is kind of what I meant about. Uh, you know, the buyers coming in on BY for, for tomorrow, right? You got 120 calls, 120 calls, 130 calls. Somebody just basically just bet 13 grand that this damn thing is going to be 30% higher tomorrow. Okay, right? So I was watching that. That's why I'm very, very shocked it didn't have a, a bigger move. You can see all over the place. You got, you got next week's 110 calls, tomorrow's 110 calls. So all over the place on BYND. So again, uh, you know, really, really wild move. But here is the second move on Tesla. Here's the second pivot on Tesla. Uh, again, the second pivot on ZM is what I pretty much made back what I lost the first time on ZM. Uh, so we had some pretty good moves. And then I kept on, and I kept on saying, hey, look, uh, Tesla set up one way or another. Stay tuned. I put an upside pivot up. 836 needs to build. Obviously got nowhere near that. And then here was the pivot to the downside. I said 798 later. If it builds below, can see 777 potential. And this thing got smoked, absolutely smoked. Uh, again, congratulations, folks. Here is the seven, you know, here is the whole uh, seven, where was it right here? Seven area right here, 798 area. And once it lost it, look where it went down to, all the way down to 765. So 
Huge, huge moves on Tesla. Again, this is why this is the greatest stock. Again, it doesn't make a difference which way it trades. And oh, by the way, I forgot. I forgot to mention my first trade of the day was a remount long washout. I know this is, a lot of you guys watching this video have no idea what the hell that means. Uh, but the stock washed out into rising support this morning at the open, reclaimed and ran right back. I mean, I took about three, three and change on that first move as well. I know a lot of you guys caught that move as well. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's it. Here's 77 on deck. Um, here's 77 on deck, right? Best stock ever, right? Best stock ever. So, uh, again, business as usual, um, you know, business as usual. Uh, again, I want to give, uh, the sellers the benefit of the doubt going into, uh, tomorrow's session. Um, I think again, look at, look at Amazon guys. Just want to show you guys, you see this whole area here. You see this whole channel here, right? It loses this channel here, right? This 2310 area, okay? Look at the daily chart. If this thing loses 2310, this thing has room all the way down to 2260s, 2240s. If you don't think Amazon could go down 200 points, well, again, you're not paying attention. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Uh, great job again today. Again, pivots are very, very, you know, very unique. Uh, not everybody trades them. That's the most important part. Um, but they're pretty damn good. They are pretty damn good guys. Tomorrow's Friday. Let's get some rest and with God's willing, I'll see you guys all at morning strategy guys. God bless. Have a great night. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list. Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.